What about all the Muslims who carried out more than 18,000 terrorist attacks since 9-11? Since 9-11, there's been over 17,000 uh, successful terrorist attacks. You will understand all of the nearly 21,000 terrorist attacks that have been committed in the name of Islam since 9-11. Uh, has absolutely no clue. And yet there are many Americans who fear Islam and what it represents. I believe they fear Islam because of people like Pastor Terry Jones, who are working on, 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 on their paranoia, who are making monster out of Islam. I would uh, respectfully ask Pastor Terry Jones to go and read the Quran instead of burning the Quran. And he will be amazed and surprised on the commonalities that, are, that exist between Islam and Christianity. Uh, the, the problem is Pastor Jones has not read the Quran. He has uh, no knowledge of the Quran. Therefore, he's trying to make a monster out of uh, the Quran. And by that, he is terrifying Americans from Islam and by telling them that Islam is the, is the, is the danger. Now, no one is denying that there are radicals in Islam, as there are radicals in Christianity. Mm -hmm. I consider him one of the radicals in Christianity. Mm -hmm. We have people like Timothy McVeigh, who killed hundreds of innocent people in, in Oklahoma uh, 10, 15 years ago in the name of, of, of Jesus. We have people who committed all kinds of uh, heinous crimes in the name of church and in the name of P uh, Jesus, peace be upon him. Would I hold Christianity responsible for their acts? No, of course no. I'm not going to do that because I understand in every faith there is a fringe group who may use religion for their own interest and Islam is no exception why I would hold 1.5 billion Muslims responsible for the act of, of a small a fringe group that has been distorting Islam we all agree that there are people who have hijacked Islam and gave it a bad name but that doesn't mean Islam should be held responsible for them so I would invite Pastor Jones to learn about the learn about uh, uh, Quran, learn about Islam, and just be able to distinguish between those fringe groups who in no way would represent the mainstream Islam and a divine faith that has so much to offer to this world and to humanity. The divine faith that speaks highly of Christianity and Judaism. We in our religion, we believe if someone does not believe in Jesus, does not believe in Moses, he cannot claim to be Muslim. Muslim. So in, in order for you to be a true Muslim, you have to embrace Jesus and his message. You have to embrace Moses and his message. And it seems that Pastor Jones does not get that. Now, I want to go back to the Sharia law that he's been talking about. We ask him, how does he define the Sharia law? He said uh, he, he, he thinks that Sharia law is the brutal punishment. Now, what brutal punishment he's talking about? Does he speak, does, is he speaking about the stoning? Now let me, for his reference, the stoning was mentioned in the Bible, not in the Quran. There is a reference to the, to the stoning in the Bible, not in the Quran. Now, if he's talking about what Taliban rule did in Afghanistan 15 years ago when they were stoning people, well, Taliban does not represent Islam. Everyone knows that the Taliban rule does not represent this, uh, the spirit of Islam. I am someone who uh, in numerous times condemned what Taliban did against people in Afghanistan. And I said that these people are self-declared uh, uh, religious leaders who are not recognized by the mainstream Islam. So he cannot also hold Islam responsible for the act of Taliban in Afghanistan when they were stoning people. Here in America, we have six million Muslims. I challenge Pastor Jones if he can bring me one Muslim in the United States who would say that we are not abided by the, by the U.S. laws. All these Muslims are abided by the U.S. laws. So if, let, let me ask him this question. If there is a reference to the, to the stoning in the Bible, does that mean the Christian in the United States now are calling for implementing stoning in the United States? This is, I think, a wrong uh, analogy. So I believe that his understanding of the Sharia law is definitely distorted. He does not have accurate understanding of what he is telling people, what he is talking about. He can demonstrate against radical Islam that his right, he can do that, and he is entitled to do that. But I also would like to ask him, as I always do, when I talk about extremism and radicalism in other faith, 
I would condemn radicalism and extremism in my faith first. So he has to do the, the same thing. When he talks about radicals and that he needs to rally people against radical Islam, would he also do the same thing by rallying people against radical Christians? Would he tolerate those who would go and blow up uh, 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 abortion clinics here, what he would call them. Aren't these radicals? Why he would not speak against them? Why he, have, why he chose to be silent about those radicals who call themselves Christians, but he only chose to attack those who call themselves radicals in Islam. So I think this is double standard. And, and someone who calls himself pastor or religious leader, he has to take the higher uh, uh, ground. Let me ask both of you. <laughs> what do you call someone who straps a bomb to himself to kill innocent people? Do you call them martyrs or do you call them killers? I, I call them murderer. The Quran called these people murderer. The Quran that uh, Pastor Terry Jones burned three weeks ago calls these people murderer. And the Quran is very clear that if you kill one innocent pe person, uh, you will be viewed by God as if you have killed the entire man mankind. So, of course, someone who kills other innocent people, he is viewed as a murderer in the eyes of God. And by the way, I would like to take this opportunity to condemn the killings that took place in Afghanistan uh, three weeks ago when Pastor Terry Jones uh, burned the Quran. But I want to say one thing. When Pastor Terry Jones burned the Quran, those who committed that crime, and I unequivocally condemn that attack, mm -hmm. it was carried out by lunatic Muslims by lunatic Muslims. These people are not normal people. These people were uh, lunatics. But who pushed them to do that? Someone who calls himself pastor, someone who calls himself a, a religious leader, he pushed them to do that. So I, yes, I agree that his, there is blood on his hand for pushing these lunatics to, 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 to kill those innocent people at the United Nations uh, headquarters in Afghanistan. And I hold him also partially responsible for these killings. David Wood is absolute ridiculous nonsense.